Hi guys, last time I asked you if you could do the coin balance. So you had a glass, a card and some coins and what your challenge was that you had to balance as many coins as you could on that end of the card. You weren't allowed to touch the card, nothing sticky on the glass, uh, you weren't allowed to put anything this side and you weren't allowed to put anything on the card apart from the coins. How do you do it? Well, I didn't say you couldn't use anything else. All you need is some water. Okay, so what I want to do, when you set up the card, you need to make sure it's as far as it can be that way without falling over. Then we need to pour the water in. You need to make sure the water goes all the way to the top until it touches the card. You can see the card slightly moving when you do that. Then you should be able to start balancing some pennies. There's one, two, Three. And that's how you do it. Water has the chemical formula H2O, one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. The oxygen tries to take the electrons from the hydrogen, making the oxygen very negative and making the hydrogens very, very positive. This electrostatic charge that's built up causes a force between water particles and it also causes an attraction between the water particles and the plastic. So when the plastic is in contact with the water, it starts to attract it, making it able to hold the plastic up when it's in contact.